Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Royal Jordanian Air Force Command has signed a deal to buy 12 Block 70 F-16 fighter jets from US on 19th January 2023 in a bid to help modernize its aging Air Force. The government of Jordan has previously placed a request for 12 F-16C Block 70 aircraft and 4 F-16D Block 70 aircrafts. On 3rd February 2022, the US Department of Defense has informed the approval to the government of Jordan for F-16C D Block 70 aircraft and related equipment for an estimated cost of $4.21 billion. Now, this proposal not only includes the fighter jet, but also engines and armaments. The government of Jordan has requested for 12 F-16C Block 70 aircraft, 4 F-16D Block 70 aircraft, 21 F-100GE 1290 engines by GE or F-100PW 229EEP engines by Pratt & Whitney and the uh, number of engines were 21, which includes 16 installed and 5 for spares, 21 improved programmable display generators, 21 AN APG 83 ASA radars, 21 modular machine computers, 27 embedded global positioning system, inertial navigation with selective availability anti spoofing module, and precision positioning service. The deal also include 6 sniper advanced targeting pod, 31 link 16 low volume terminals and 72 LAAU 1.9 launchers, 21 Vulcan cannons, 100 JDAM kits for 2000 pound bomb and 102 JDAM kits for 500 pound bomb. So the list is huge and I have given the link for the same so that if you are interested to go through the entire list of weapons package, you can refer to it. Now the implementation of this proposal sale will require assignment of fewer than 20 US contractor representatives to Jordan for a duration of 36 months to support secure storage requirements of critically controlled assets and provide on-site contractor logistic support. And the total estimated cost as stated earlier is going to be 4.21 billion dollars so by now you would have got an idea that the deal is not just about bare-bone aircraft but for a lot of components which includes engines spares weapons sensors radars etc and logistic support so now let's talk about the indo-french deal india and france as we all know had signed a 7.87 billion euro intergovernmental agreement in september 2016 for 36 Rafale multi role fighter jet and flyaway condition. Now, out of this, 1.3 billion euro has been spent on the design and development of 13 India specific enhancement or ISE, and the distribution of this non reckoning cost was over 36 Rafales. Now, these 13 ISE capabilities are not present in Rafale aircraft being operated by other countries. Now, this capability includes radar enhancement, which will provide Air Force the better long range capability, a helmet mounted display through which an Air Force pilot would be able to counter many threats simultaneously, the capability to start and operate from high altitude airfields, an advanced and fried search and track sensor a very potent electronic jammer pot and capabilities pertaining to avionics. The new agreement also included additional deliveries such as Meteor air to missile, 1.8 billion of spare parts and 710 million euros for weapons and 353 million euros for performance based logistics along with index based inflation with a cap of 3.5%. So in any aircraft deal, it's not just the bare bone aircraft that is delivered. It also includes additional sensors, weapons package, logistics, supports, and any specific enhancements or modification, be it F-60 deal of Jordan or Rafale deal of India. There has been 
lot of sensors, spares and weapons which have been purchased as part of both the deals. While the bare bone cost of the aircraft is not clear, but if we do a rough estimation, the F-16 deal does seem to be at slightly higher side when compared to Rafale deal of India. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.